Very excited about new bike day. We are here in California, but truth be told, the story starts last week at home in Vermont. Stoked that our friends from Canada have made their trip up from Connecticut to here in Vermont. Um, we're building up a pair of Cannondale Synapses, a uh, brand new bike coming to market right now, which is something that, that is makes for a cool story because I have been on the Cannondale Synapse back in the early 20 teens. Um, we were racing it in the in the Spring Pablo Classics. Um, and now to see the evolution of the bike to, to what it is today, which is the bike design to be ridden, to be ridden, to have a really good time, to have fun. I mean, shoot, I'm really excited. There's there's a lot of stuff that has been seeded to us that we know about the bike, but it's not until you build it up and ride it that, that you really get to see that, that excitement come to life. My box of random Cannondale parts is... This is really cool. I've never built a bike completely from scratch. And you know, you just have people who are doing things and they build the bikes for you. It's nice to have you. I'm curious the battery life. I like to ride my bike for a long period of time. So Some days. I, I know your nuts like that, but for you here in the US, uh, you could get up to 20 hours on this thing, which is quite a long ride. I will probably keep my rides under 20 hours. That's good to know. Okay, okay. Uh, normal amount of battery life and usage on this thing, you'd probably see about eight hours of, of repeat use with using all of the things at a, at a normal life. But yeah, once you put it in that power save mode, you'll get about uh, uh, yeah, up to 20 hours. You can't build a bike without getting like infinity. That's what she said jokes. <laughs> you said don't over tighten it. How tight am I getting it? So the battery is powering front right, front light, rear light, radar. That's correct. Does it also do my Garmin? Uh, it might be able to do your Garmin in the future, but where we're starting with right now is the lights, the radar, uh, all powered together in, in one central thing. If you want to though, you can take that battery pack off if you're like at the cafe or something like that. And yeah. if you've got the cable, you can charge ah. up your phone with it. Very smart. Uh, and it's perfectly fine that that's the answer, your answer because Laura has a different head unit than I do. So what are you excited about knowing what you know about this? Yeah, I've actually never ridden the Synapse at all, so this will be my first experience. And it's a really perfect season for me to try this bike um, as we're expecting a baby in the next, in five months. And I'm looking to prioritize comfort, but not at the expense of, you know, I still want a light bike and I still want it to be fast. And this Synapse is going to encompass all of that. I think just like the way it rides, it rides so well and we kind of, because smart science is so like kind of overwhelming and cool and different, um, we had so much emphasis on that that I think we kind of forgot to communicate internally like just how sweet this, <laughs> this bike rides. When so, you say smart sense, you're talking about? Uh, yeah, like the battery and um, the lights and the, the radar and how they all talk together. And, um, they're integrated with the wheel sensor, so it's just like this very comprehensive like unit. It's all kind of part of the ride, so you don't really have to think about it. You just get on the bike and, and go, and it does all this additional stuff that just makes, kind of opens up road riding again, like almost makes it new again, because it makes it so much easier to get out there for one thing, and then also just you're already visible and you're already like able to see the cars coming up behind you and all that stuff, so it kind of just gives you this this feeling that, that uh, that you're kind of in, more in control again, and it takes away that, that kind of the negativity that's been going on with, with road riding. But there's a car here, so we'll do that again. I think over the last few years, as drivers get more distracted and everything else, like everything else is kind of scarier when yeah. they're riding. And so this kind of lets you take that back in, in your control and like you feel like the road is yours again. That, that part is really awesome, but then when you step on the bike and start riding it, I mean, I just was blown away by how it felt fast, it felt sprightly, like it wanted to go, it wanted to corner, it wanted to climb, it, like, it's really fun to ride, like, it's, it's really nice. And then when you throw on those, those bigger tires too, like, you can do, you can just do so many things with it, so, so that was like, really cool. It's 
so cool to see the bike complete. I mean, you know, you have an idea of what it's all about, what the lighting system's about, what the radar's about, and it's not until you see it in action that it like, quite literally puts a smile on your face. Uh, this is this is awesome. I've been running lights on bikes daytime for, for quite a while now, and so to have it be so integrated is just simple. The way a bike should be. Perfect. The way all the Belgian kids yeah. are doing it these days. Exactly. Perfect. Dialed. <laughs>